Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Cobalt Core, the fresh new roguelike deck builder that I'm excited to be back to here today. We're going to be going back in but on hard mode today, bumping things up a little bit, making things tougher in those ways you can see right there. And I'm going to be changing out my crew, getting rid of the shielding and shield manipulation character since we did a lot of that yesterday, and subbing in the new character we unlocked, Isaac. Your engineer, his cards create and manipulate mid-row objects like drones and missiles. So, hoping for a win so we can unlock this ship. We got other things to unlock yet. So, in we're going to go with the Artemis. Let's start this run. Uh, upgrade two random cards to type B or to type A or gain three max hull. However, this parallel shift. Drone shift lets you move all mid row objects left or right. Interesting. And then basic dodge got upgraded from one evade to two evade but exhausts. Interesting. Hey, y'all. Cryo sleeps over. You know the drill. Ugh. Where am I? Hey, it's Isaac. Who's Isaac? All oh, right. Memories. Uh, you remember anything before the incident? I'm a drone specialist, I think. Good enough. Well, all right. So yeah, we're going to have to learn how to play around with these. Should I use this evasion now or save it for later? Okay. So what do we got? We have a weak cockpit, which is important to note. <laughs> This part right here, this specific part, takes one more damage from all attacks. Going to be kind of a big deal. Notably, we don't have any, like, of those extra block cards in our deck here. So, we might just have to take this hit unless we get our basic block. Good deal. Parallel shift. So, what do we got here? Launch an object from your missile bay, which is an attack drone that shoots one damage shot once per turn. Okay. We got our two shield here, so we're going to be blocking everything. I don't really need to worry too much. Let's just start blasting. Okay. You're not going to be doing a whole lot of anything. I'll get the attack drone. So that is... Okay. That's just going to hang out right there. I don't mind it. The question is if I attack or block here. I'm going to go for a block, I guess. All right, so that drone is actually blocking all of those hits, or all three of that damage, because this is a row right here, or a column right here. It is going to be in the way, which is so useful. I think I'm going to let it. I think that's the thing. I think I'm just going to let it get smacked a bit. So it does get a fire off an attack first, which is super nice, and then we can just get a murder. Goodbye. Next. Attack for zero every time this card is drawn in the fight, add two. I could go for, like, lots of card draw. That could be kind of fun. Another multi-shot is certainly useful. Extra battery is good. Attack for zero. Okay, we could also make it so that... Mm. Let's get the charge beam. Every time we draw it, it gets a little bit stronger. Go for an event. Unmanned ship up ahead and it's hailing us? It says, welcome it's back. How may I help you? Upgrade two random cards to upgrade A, two to upgrade B, or choose one card to upgrade. Let's go for random. Basic block is now a zero cost and multi-shot A has three attacks instead of two. Do you need any other assistance? No, thank you. you may shut down now. Yes, command. It's hard seeing an AI that in that kind of state. Okay, so I definitely want to go for the most elites as possible. Basic dodge. We're just going to go ahead and pop that up. Hmm. We can get the parallel shift going. I don't want to take this three damage. That much I know for sure. If I draw, what would I get? Maybe I'll get that shield. No dice. Okay, we move out of the way. We have three evasion there. Ooh, the missile bay is weak. Meaning that it is kind of like our cockpit in the sense that it takes that bonus damage. But I don't really have the, uh, the movement to handle it here.
Interesting. So if I move one, I can move one to the side. That'd be Let's think about this. Move one to the side, dash two to the side. Move another. I, I don't know, man. Certainly I can't just do the big murder, right? Because we have dash to the right two and then attack. It's certainly a useful thing. We have two, four, six damage if we attack here, so we do not have a kill. We don't have enough shielding otherwise. I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm definitely going to do. I'm definitely going to go over here and draw a shot, because, yeah, if I can get the attack drawn out, then there you go. That's fine. Already pretty good. We lunge so that we don't take the uh, hit in our weak spot. Alright, attack for four. Sure. Get out of my space, nerd. What on God's green earth? Launch an object, one space to the left, the missile bay, an attack drone, a shield drone in front of you, and then another attack drone to the right. Well, then. Move left to attack, right one. This is cost freaking three. It's not easy to go for, but a shielding drone sounds kind of nice. All right, so we could um, we could upgrade draw shot to draw three cards. That could be kind of useful to get charge beam to go a little bit more. Can this get uh, cheaper? Attack drone mark two that shoots two damage. Or have it shoot out another shield drone. That's kind of interesting. Can't upgrade this again, I don't think. Correct. Huh. We can get this so we could flip it and move left or right, which is kind of nice. Move two random spaces and then gain two evade. I feel like I'm going to need movement pretty bad. An attack drone. Launch an attack drone that gets a bubble shield. Hold up. That sounds legit. So it can block an entire hit and stay alive. Seems very, very handy. A pirate hailing us? I can tell they're a pirate. They got a big skull painted on their hull. Ah. Surrender and drop your shields or I'll drop them for you. Uh, no. Have it your way. I know you. Asteroid field. You're fighting in an asteroid field. Yes. We'll block one attack before being destroyed. Interesting. Attack and apply status. If I do this, I'm assuming the asteroid will not let me pass through with the other. Eh. Cockpits. I don't want to take the three damage that much, I know, so I think we will just move over here. Do a draw shot. Yeah, that checks out. That checks out. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. That checks out. That makes sense. Okay. Parallel shift we could get going, but I, I think no. It's weird. Oh! What's the status I got? Excess heat. If heat is three or more at the end of the turn, overheat. Take a whole damage reset heat to zero. Gotcha. You don't seem to have a weak point here. We could actually go for a pop, pop, pop. Pop, and then we could even just use lunge to move out of the way, which I like. Scramble. Definitely use the freebie. Let's just keep on getting out of the way, I think. Because evasion does not go away. We kind of are forcing him to keep up with us, which I really like. Hmm. 
You come over here. You come over to me. I see. So now we go for the parallel shift. We can move them over. Wait, it moves everything, including the asteroids. That's interesting. I don't think there's a large reason to do it right now. We're going to wait until you uh, waste that bad boy. There we go. That's more like it. It's also worth noting we can't shoot through our, our little thing there. We could move one. How many? We have four of these? Three of these. We can move one, fire. Oh, this is weird. Fire. Oh, we even have an attack drone. So we don't even have to move. Don't. I don't know. Shoot the one aim shot once per turn. I don't know if we're safe. You know what? Let's. For science. Let's find out. It seems like it goes before... Yeah, it goes before them. It goes before they do their attacks. It's good to know. Sidestep. Move to the right one. Retain. Not discard at the end of the turn. Draw a card and move right. I think that sidestep sounds nice. Every time your discard pile is shuffled back into your draw pile, you gain an evade. I'd like to make that become something. I would like for that to be a thing. Draw a card every time you miss a shot. Ooh, wait, that's interesting. When you shoot an incoming missile, turn it around instead of destroying it. That is interesting too, but... Can I get you anything? Should we uh, remove a card so we're more likely to... I think we go for the draw shot. Trying to cycle our deck as much as possible. This makes this kind of a free card, though, which is really nice. Not necessarily, because we might not want to move to the right. I'll get draw shot. Three card draw is really, really helpful. Another elite. Weapons hot. Okay. Rough go in there. I definitely think I'll go for the sidestep. And the scramble. And we'll get the parallel shift out of the way. That's a lot, but it's a lot of setup gone too. This part takes double damage from attacks. We're gonna wanna charge up the charge beam. and pop him with a big old blast in the middle. Do I take the two damage now because I'm afraid that there's gonna be a bigger hit later? Two damage is not that scary. There it is. Oh, one times three is a really big difference in this. I have three movement still. This so much. I mean, the attack drone, it'll block some, obviously, but... Sure. It'll block two, two hits, theoretically, and do a damage. Yeah. Okay, you went right back in the middle for me. Bye-bye. Double damage. X equals the amount of cards in your hand. Attack for the amount of cards in your hand. That obviously could be good. What's the upgrade for this look like? Draw a card and then do that? This does cost two. Uh, it's tricky. It's tricky. It's also pretty expensive. It could be very good. But for two mana, it's not cheap. 
when we have three energy to work with. Uh, it's fine. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, gain a shield. You may remove two cards at repair yards. Yes. Hello, can I get you anything? Yes, I'd like to remove two cards at the repair yard. So what have we been adding? We added Battalion. Did we get rid of a basic shot at the very least? Maybe, probably two basic shots, if I'm going to be honest. What a deal. They're not supposed to be, like, great cards or anything, right? You know? Wait, what? Ah, Big Crystal. I don't know why I was not expecting Big Crystal right now. Definitely pop that out of the way. Well, I guess we should have... If we were going to be using hand cannon, we should have done it last time. Oh, well. Could have done better there, for sure. Sidestep is a mistake here. Let's get our draw going. Okay. Okay. Definitely not bad. Yeah, we don't want to move to the side because then our we take a little extra damage. Yeah, it's a little bit finicky. That's going to be at least taking that hit for me, which is nice. If I move two to the right, I'm only taking one damage. Correct? Yes. You can also move this so that doesn't even lose its shield. And then the question is, draw shot? I think the answer is draw shot. This is currently doing four. All right, there's the hand cannon. Wait, here we go. Now that's some meat. Take the one, you want to keep that alive. <sighs> That'll work. That'll do. Speaking of that'll do, that should be lethal. Next. Two max haul and eight haul healed there. Straight fire for one damage immediately after every move you make. That could destroy my rockets and stuff, though. Uh, every time you attack, this drone copies your attack. It's a one-time use thing. Could give it a bubble shield, could make it free. That seems really good. Another hand cannon is definitely not bad. Gain an extra energy every turn, but your ship's cannons become weak at the start of combat. That seems like a pretty good trade. We only have the one cannon. Gain extra energy every turn. Add a trash to your draw pile every two... No. No. Gain and evade every turn, but you can't have more than three a turn. That's... That's not bad either. I'm going to go with the glass cannon. I think it's going to be the better one for us right now. Okay. We're in Lawless Sector again. Y'all know the drill. Yeah, check out my cool gun. Look at that. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> okay. All right, we get the... I guess we'll go for the four damage. I could have, I feel like I could have gone for the draw, but I feel like this fight can be over so fast that it just shouldn't matter.
Okay, Bubble Shield blocks that entire three damage there, and we have done a murder. Oh my god, that can copy my... Oh my god, it can copy my hand cannon. Drone shift and drone to the right. Drone move to the right and draw a card. This is good, but charge beam is sort of what we're working towards right now. Um... There's one elite down set. We can't go to this elite and that elite, so we might as well go for the top row. And let's go to some events. Anyone else getting a really bad headache? Ah, it's from that high-pitched static. What is that? Ah, you again. Hello. Which of you shall I teach this time? Obtain two of blank, blank, or blank's cards. You pick... Okay, we're going to pick from a set of them. Uh, I'm kind of looking for card draw, if anything. You're prevented from skipping. Well, you shouldn't have said choose from it then. This is great, though. Evasive shot upgraded. Two damage, two evade, and then exhaust is not a problem. Evade and draw two extra next turn. Dude, this is great. Oh, we don't get a both. Choose from two. Okay. Choose from two, we can't skip. I would have taken them both. Energy readings are back to normal. Yeah, I would have. I would have loved to take both. Brittle, double damage from all attacks. Whenever the ship is shot, the part that was hit gains armor for the rest of the turn. That's fine. Should I have hand cannon? Wait, what did I just play? I played lunge. Yeah, no, I should have done hand cannon first. A hundred percent. Well, but then we couldn't scramble. Let's, let's just get that card played. What's that? Destroying it will damage its destroyer. It doesn't have to be me. Interesting. Multi shot first would have been a better call. Just play it safe then. I could move him too. One, two, nah. And done the Jupiter drone. Yeah, I beefed it. Nothing else to say, but I beefed it. Should have done the attack first. Um. Well, with the reflexive coding, it actually wouldn't have even been that crazy, anyways. Because any shot kills my guys there. See, that's... I knew it. Okay. I knew it was a mistake. Okay. And evade. Draw extra next turn. Do not mind that one bit. Boom. Bang. Sounds good. Then we don't even have to dodge that. Charge Beam does for that one right there. Go for the draw shot, just trying to cycle through quicker. Alright. I dig it. This one still is going to block one. Drone. This is super weird, though. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I die if I try and put that with the Jupiter drone, or I take that. Destroying it will damage the destroyer for two. Do we do this for science? My guess on how this would work is that I get to put out the Jupiter drone, but 
and this gets destroyed. Maybe that's not true, though. It's important science for the run. Okay. Okay. It's important science for the run. We needed to get it. We need to get it looked at. So we can't even do the extra damage that we really want to do there. All right. Bye-bye. It, it, it all doesn't matter. Move randomly two spaces, shield, and then do zero damage, but that can be improved by strength. Add a wave beam to your hand. Not right now. Two power up. Increase your damage by two, but that goes down each turn. You there! Hot thine astral stallion! I really want you to be a playable character. Huh? Hang on, is my auto-translator broken? Nay, this is just how I talk. I see. Prepare for glorious combat. Sure. What well, say we make this an honorable duel? I shan't target thine weak points if ye deign not to target mine. The enemy may behave differently if you follow the rules. Sure. Let's see how that works. Pop up the battalion. Oh, shoot. My... If the... Oh, uh, sorry. He's gonna go... Okay, he's gonna get mad. He's gonna get mad. I didn't think about my, uh, my drones targeting them. I didn't target them. Brigan, scoundrel, you've broken a sacred pact and you shall pay in turn. What have I done? He gains two power drive. Is that the whole, the whole of it? This missile is going to do three damage and it's a sword. Do you have any weak points? Yeah, you're okay. Your cockpit is brittle. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, we can move like a little bit of a. We can even do that. We don't even have to move that way. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to be a scoundrel. Shoot their drone. And then he just copies that. Wow, we have a pretty nasty setup potentially here. Uh, draw shot is a good call. Gotta be careful with how many attacks we're adding, though. So removing our final basic shot seems like a really good call. I don't have to remove something else, but I feel as though I should. What would I remove? I, I guess I would... Uh, lunge? That sounds like a mistake. Can I go back? Huh. Okay, so I can't go back. As soon as I hit that, I have to remove the two. I can't just say, eh, I changed my mind. I need scramble. As much as it's expensive, I think I need to get rid of it. And as a result, I think I, I, think I can get rid of lunch. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I could just say, you know what? I made a mistake. I don't want that other draw shot. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because I feel like I'd want it upgraded for it to be really that good. Gain three drone shift on the first turn. That's really good. Whenever you have no cards, draw a card. I don't think I'm going to have no cards very often. Am I? What if you have no cards, draw a card. Because I'm, I, that's not going to function very well with Charge Beam. Unless I upgrade it to this one where it doesn't get exhaust because I'd have to play it. I'm going to get the three drone shift. I feel like that's a good catch-all here. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm beefing the hand cannon, man. I'm beefing it. That's so much effort for that. Okay, we got the draw shot. Italian. I feel like this is fine. It's really weird to think about these in my way, you know? It's really awkward. I think I just take that one and we get the parallel shift and we save up a bit. We take the one, but we don't take the two. So that we can keep our, our extra block there. Options I love. Scramble. We can at least move one out of the way there. Interesting. We'll take that for now. Thank you, shield drone. You lovely, lovely beast. Okay. We got to figure this out. There's a, it's a really good answer here. And I think this is it. Oop. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Yep, we solved it. We absolutely solved it there. Another battalion's a little bit weird. Launch a repair kit. Destroying it will heal the destroyer's hull for two. Attack and then move the enemy to the left? Huh. That is interesting. Another battalion is obviously, like, appealing, but it's also... The fact that you have to move three whole spaces to play another one is almost more concerning than the cost of three mana there. Forcing an enemy to the left is really interesting. But it is just like, well, I don't really want to make too big of a deck, though. Heal one after every combat. Every time an attack misses by one space, you get an extra energy on the first turn. I love that. It may not seem like a big deal, but we have a lot of prep that we have to do. Okay. Basic dodge. Get that battalion out there. It's fine if we take the one hit. I could move myself and them as well, but... Is that worth it? I don't think so. I think we just accept the one hit there. So, hand cannon first. Wow. The Jupiter cannon is, frankly, a little busted. Fire one damage immediately after every move you make. Again, it could just really ruin my one guy. Uh, quick thinking, draw three cards. So good. Uh... Zero cost, draw two cards, probably even better, truthfully. We gotta know exactly what we're doing before we go there. I could upgrade. I could upgrade that card that we just got. If I removed two cards, get got full value from that, what would I remove? I mean, maybe basic block. It's just the fact that it got pre-upgraded is, like, kind of appealing. 
sidestep has been nice. Parallel shift I feel like I like a lot. I'm not getting rid of that, not getting rid of that. Lunge, scramble. Yeah, I think I'm keeping what I got, so I'm going to go for an upgrade. Of which we should probably upgrade quick thinking to be... Eh, eh screw it. Let's go big. Heck yeah. Hey, it's Evil Rigs again. Hey, it's the fake time clones again. What'd you call us? Stand still just like that. I'm lining up my cannons. I wonder if there's other ones for the other characters, though, you know? Okay, there's the Jupiter. I don't want to charge beam immediately. That seems very stupid. a lot, man. One, two, three. We'd still be taking two damage there. Here we take three. I'm not going to sacrifice this Jupiter Cannon. The answer might be just taking the damage. Because so, we, if we move three to the right, one, two, three, we take two damage instead of currently three damage. Three evade to take one less damage seems stupid to me. So I think we just accept that that's going to be kind of where we take a little bit of a smacking. Basic dodge. Love to see it there. Options, maybe. I think we do the draw shot. Come on, big boy. Oh, I want to do hand cannon so bad. Going to prepare something. Multi shot seems like a great call for this. Attack drone saves me without having to move, which I really like. Sounds good. Taking a whopping one damage this turn is fine. I do hate that. Yeah, that died though. Hand cannon. Can we have a we have a max hand size, surely? Maybe not. See, he would have died if we would have been able to keep that other guy alive. There we do have a max hand size. It is confirmed. Interesting. Hmm. That wasn't really... I thought I had two movement left on that, so that kind of sucks. We have the four for the sidestep. I could take two damage again, and it's actually not a big deal, but otherwise I sidestep, move... One, two, three, four, five. I take one damage. It's a lot. But I also think I can probably kill, like, next turn. Yep. Bye-bye. Another Jupiter drone is probably a must. Attack damage is equal to the total uh, of the enemy's attacks. Gain three energy, and the ship's missile drones will launch backwards. Hmm. A Jupiter drone sounds silly. Gain an energy every time you destroy a mid-row object. Wow. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, your wings retract and become empty during your next turn... Okay, so these become unhittable if we have unenergy left. That's so cool. What a cool relic. 
Can't do that. This could be good. That's, oh, they're so cool. They're both so cool. What cool freaking I'd be is, man. All right. An extreme setup phase there. So this guy gets a lot stronger over the course of time. Uh, wait, hold on. Which one did I get? Draw a card every time you miss a shot. I have not missed a whole lot of shots. I have not been going for that. What did I get? I thought... Heh? What did I get? Oh yeah, there it is. I think that's worth. That lets me get the hand cannon shot off there. a lot for that, but I think it's worth. Perfect. And we should be able to get an easy kill this turn. One would surmise. Surely we'll draw something good. There it is. Bye-bye. <laughs> that would have been 14 damage. Scoot to the right. None of that. Not interested right now. So we have... Uh, definitely bottom... Uh, definitely bottom path. We'll go here just in case I change my mind in a second. Do I do this just to remove one shield? Probably not worth. Oh, you dirty, dirty devil. Gotcha. So the bubble shield stops it. Per so, it okay. So trying to summon it is the equivalent of, like, doing a damage to them? One damage? Or is it... Because since they... Yeah, they basically have one health. So I guess that's the thing. Huh. We get an energy back anyways. It hurts to miss one of those shots. But it also makes sense. You dirty devil, ye! Yeah. You dirty devil, ye! Yeah. Maybe I pop one of these. Trying to keep on drawing those. We should be fine. I think he's going to move over to the... Ooh. You dingus dongus. What hath you done?
Good. Love it. The minefield. Interesting. Gain and evade every turn. Exhaust. Ah, uh, That's so good. Cost three. Fine. It's a little expensive. Can it be upgraded? Two cost. Getting two evade on that turn as well. I think I'll go for the two cost. Given the Jupiter drone a bubble shield is really appealing too, though. I'm just going to try and move him out of the way. It's not super realistic, but... Okay. Block this. So every turn, he slowly gets more and more... Oh, we should have multi-shot it first. God, this is... It's such a weird order of operations thing. I almost think... It, it's basically, do I go for one energy or do I go for two of these? One, two. One, bang, two. It's fine. This guy is not... He... The longer the fight goes on, the worse he is. Unlike some other... Some other situations. Okay. Pop him, pop him. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh, yeah, no, okay. I was like, what did I do? <laughs> I was like, why did I do this? And then I remembered. Because the bubble shield. Now we have uh, four sons of guns up in here. Uh, I'm going to pop my own guy there so we can get a double fire. Eight damage, eight damage, eight damage. I guess that's pretty good. <laughs> I suppose. They are going to be done now, but hey, didn't really matter. He poisoned himself. Not bad. Apply a bubble shield to every mid-row object. Oh, I do like that. Oh, and it's the upgraded one, so it also gives them two movement. I do like it. Add a damage to all attacks, lose a hull. Nah, it's bubble field or nothing. I think we have to. It's pre-upgraded. I think it'll be helpful. I never... After your first attack, after your first attack each turn, gain a stun charge, which makes your next attack stun. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, gain a shield. It's fine. I could get this just in case it happens to be useful. It just probably rarely will be, because I'm I just can't really play all my cards. I don't think I've done that in the past like four fights. So I guess I get the stun calibrator out of that, which is not super exciting. Hello there. Would you care to engage in some debates about the issues? Got nothing but time on my hands. We can do this over and over. Turn an upgrade A card into a B card. Gain annoyance. Uh. Playing it's just play it once to completely remove it from your deck. So. I could convert this to the zero cost. I don't hate that. I actually don't hate that. Then we get a one-time... Convert that to... A. Oh, eh, I kind of hate... I kind of do hate that. These aren't upgraded already. Attack drone B. Nope, I want that that way. Quick thinking A. No, I chose that. I'm not sure that I care that much. It's basically, do I want to swap Bubble Field over to the free one? It's a one-time use free card. The answer could be yes. 
I'm going to say no, though. I don't think so. The junk card looks like it only lasts for one turn. Two extra cards the first turn. Sounds great. One random enemy part is made brittle at the start of the fight. It's not marked until it's damaged. Oh, that's really cool. But I am going to go with quick draw due to it how, like, clearly my jam it is. Okay. Let's go for some prep stuff here. We could have done the hand cannon this this fight, I'm, I know. Oh! Oh, oh, th yeah, those were multi-strikes. Oh, yeah, those were multi-strikes. That hurt really bad. Those were multi-strikes in my weak point. That's a multi-strike in my weak points. That's what that is indeed. Ow. Ouch. Okay. Gain the mana back for destroying a meteor. Huh. We gain the mana back. This is so weird. All right. I dig it. One more damage for this. I think it's worth it since we can get out of here. All right. Quick thinking. We got to get the hand cannon. Yeah. Boop. Boop, boop. Man, what a silly thing. I could have definitely not taken damage there. Bolt B is appealing. It's free-ish. Exhaust. I'm going to skip it. I, I do think we're good. Risking a little bit of a biscuit here. We have the hand cannon, though. It's worth bang, bang. We have the other Jupiter drone. Um. I think we just have to pop options and wait. How much health do you have? Yeah, no, we didn't. We didn't do that. It's fine. I can't be too mad at that massive payoff there. Boop, boop. Boop. Goodbye. Attack for four damage, add three fumes. Temporary removed to the end of combat. I mean, okay. Prepare, draw two cards next turn and gain two energy next turn. It's good. It's just so expensive. It's so good and so expensive at the same time. I'm going to say no. Yo, hey. Can I get you anything? I could repair my hull. What card would I upgrade? Let's think about that. If I were to upgrade a card, what card would I even upgrade at this point? I got a lot of cards that, like, are unupgraded. That doesn't mean I have to upgrade them. Mm. Options B is a really good upgrade, actually. Okay. 
Okay. All right, same plan as last time, I guess. Self-upload initiated. Good luck out there. All right. We have basic dodge. I don't have any car draw, otherwise I could, like, Jupiter drone. I could set up double Jupiter drone into silly... Like a silly blast. Which would be fun. So, Jupiter drone, Jupiter drone, hand cannon. Let's think about this. One Jupiter drone hand cannon is three damage, three damage, six damage. Jupiter drone, Jupiter drone... Oh, wait, no. Jupiter drone hand cannon is eight damage. Two Jupiter drones. One, two damage. It's nine damage, and we are already prepped for next time. It's also a little dangerous. I'm willing to take the two damage. Oh, God. Shoot. So we should have Jupiter Drone first. Jupiter Drone on the one move, because now we're in a weird spot. It's actually, it's fine. If I'm willing to take this damage, and it's a lot, then it's fine to do nine and then move the drones out. Take two. That'll work. All right, give me a big hand cannon blast and we are all good. Quick thinking. Options. We don't have a hand cannon. We can get the bubble. Which I really like. Do we sidestep? Draw three cards. We're pretty much near our max. I God, I do want to kind of play that. The bubble is appealing. Give us an extra two movements so it could go one, two, three. I mean, what's the other option, right? We start blasting. It's not a bad call. But we don't have a good draw. Hope for a cannon. We could move... If we move over one and then move them over... Well, but then it's... Ah, God, this is all a little bit funky. Because I kind of want to kill the attack drone so that I could get an energy back. But that's very funky. We have one movement. This is concussible. So if I move right... Oh, this is actually really messy. And I don't really... I guess I don't really want to draw more cards, because if I draw more cards, I might get hand cannon and it messes me up. Okay, so that even stopped itself from getting the... That is pretty helpful. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. I really should... I want Ace played by now, but it's also really messy.
We have Scramble. We could go... I don't want to sack these, though. Well, there's not much I can do, to do about that, though. The best I can do is play, like, a really big attack. And get bang for the buck out of them, because I can't move them again. It's sort of the penalty there. That sucks. All right, fine. We'll, we'll play a little bit quasi-safe there. R.I.P. Oh, wait, this one attacked too. Okay, that really sucks. We got to play this legit, and that really is not what I wanted to do. Did not want to play this one legit. We have trash. Painful that I don't feel like I can use that right now. Take way too much. Just thinking we pop out Battalion. Pop out Battalion. We can't pop out Battalion. We could... Move and pop out uh, Attack Drone. It's not the worst. Man, just make a move. Let me think, man. Let me think. This is actually a, a messy situation. I understand you would throw your face at it and then instantly die, but let me think so that I don't. <laughs> One second. All right, I think I am going to hand cannon go one, two, three. I don't love it. I don't love it. It's damage and more than I'd like. So we are charging up our charge beams very, very well. That's an important thing to keep in mind. Multi-shot. That's some big work. Moving over and popping this is appealing, but I'd have to do it with charge beam unless I want to use an extra movement. Which I suppose I don't have a huge issue with. To save the charge beam. Save the charge beam for an even bigger hit, or do it right now when I can do it for sure. I have the excess mana. I think it's fine. We have the other one still charging up. I don't love that choice. I don't hate that choice. It's just a choice. I hate how much trash we have, but it also makes sense that I have this much trash. I'm not surprised by it. Can I interrupt that? Nope. Yeah, it sucks. Pretty much just sucks. We can get the basic block, which is a thing. Options so we can move over four. We can already do a one, two, three. We can do one, two, three, four. We only take one damage instead of two. Which sounds appealing right now. Sidestep is a mistake, that's for sure. Draw a shot. I do draw a bunch of cards. I think we go for options, I guess. Of course we drew the hand cannon there. No, man. I think we have to be stingy. Out. Taking the one damage to our face instead of the double. Charge beam is stacking up. We can pop the battalion. Battalion and parallel shift at the same time is very intriguing. 
Charge Beam is almost there. I think we're almost going to pop that. But this gets two cards that have sort of like expiration dates out of here. Could be better, could be worse. Get an extra two damage off. We block both of those dinky little hits, which is not my favorite. I wish we would have been able to obviously get the block combo going at the same time there. But oh well, what are you going to do? Attack drone. Very appealing. Hand cannon. Thank you. Charge beam. For chance. Or we just wait a sm just a second. Eight damage. I don't think we need to wait anymore. I think popping that when we definitely have the block to do it is not a bad call. Got that extra damage here. Are you going to keep yourself lined up with me? I know I got the double trash. I guaranteed to draw it, which that sucks. We have four movement. Love that. Love that. All right, next turn. Next turn, I think we got it. We move these jabronis out of the way. I feel like I'm going to die for some reason, but... Whoop. A little overkill for you. Goodbye. That got a little dicey. That got a little dicey, losing both my Jupiter cannons right away. I mean, I should have known it was coming. You're coming stronger. Who shall it be this time? Uh, rigs already. Let's pick the original crew. Because we're going to be one out of the original crew, and we already did one for rigs. Because we're going to be using Isaac probably for a little bit, you know? as we are going to be slowly cycling into using none of the original crew. I don't trust this. I know. If you don't let my crew out of this loop, I swear I'll find a way to kill you. It'd be unable. Wait, that's it? That was your entire first memory? No. Oh, okay, no. Hi, Hyperia? Call me Perry. I'm Max, computer guy. Come highly recommended. Dizzy said you were the best. I He did? Yeah, you just missed him. He's already on board. So this is the ship. Yep, the Cobalt. I've never seen a ship that looks like this. Where'd it come from? I don't know. Was it built, found, stolen? I don't know. Uh, aren't you, like, in charge? Client's uh, secretive. The job is to get the ship running again. Then why hire us? Why not just hire a mechanic? It's an unusual ship. Hmm. Cool. All right. So now Drake should be unlocked as well. Her cards are strong attacks and status effects, but be careful not to overheat. Shielding and shield manipulation, flexible movement, card draw, attacks and instant movement. That was Perry's. All right, well, there is a hard mode win, which should give us a couple unlocks. We got Drake, a new character deck unlocked, a new starter ship unlocked as well. A nimble warship with two cannons, which are manually toggled. What? Uh, 40 different artifacts to unlock this ship. Win a run without parry, dizzy, or rigs. I mean, we're working on it. Win 10 runs. We're working on it. And what's the difference between hard and harder? We have a corrupted core, whatever that means. We lose two extra hull. Wouldn't have mattered. One less max hull gain from boss kills. Uh, wouldn't have wouldn't have mattered. Elites only offer two artifacts instead of three. Eh, not that big of a deal. I don't know what the corrupted core is. Events are harder. Start with weak. Yeah, I mean, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Events are harder. Start combat with a brittle cockpit instead of a weak one, so that's the double damage. Less pre-upgraded card offerings, one less max hull. Start with 50% hull missing, most enemies are harder. Eh, 
the thing is, take it. Oh, take a downside on boot sequence. I was gonna say, the upgrade here is not that scary, depending on what a corrupted core is. This one, the brittle cockpit is spooky, for sure. And then whatever, most enemies are harder, is ambiguous and terrifying. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Cobalt Core. I am loving this game so much. I hope you guys are as well. I recorded this one in advance because I just couldn't help myself from playing another run immediately after recording the last. But share this series around if you want to help out the game and my channel at the same time. My name is Retromation. cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel you should most definitely be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.